So here we are today. When I say what's our nationality, you say African American. He say African American, but Dominican, right? Even though that's the same people, right? But what's our name? The Israelites. How do we know that? Because the curses that he said applied to his people for their disobedience to God's commandments applied to us exclusively. Exclusively. Right? Give me uh, Christ real quick. I'm, I'm going to show you one more thing. One more thing. Because I know I went the long way. I know. I know. I know. But this is highly important because we don't get an opportunity in Hawaii. Y'all live here? We don't get an opportunity to gather together like this unless it's for some spades and craziness. All right, y'all know, y'all know. Read the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one. Anybody know what Revelation means? It means revealing. This man on point. There it is, man. You gonna come up here and read next? Read the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Anybody know who Jesus Christ? Is? Okay, go ahead. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Hey, man, my big man, 17 year old. T touch your head real quick. <laughs> there you go. Why you touch your face? Exactly. So we clear where the head is, right? Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and the hairs on his head was white and woolly. Go ahead. As white as snow. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had red eyes, according to Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Read. And his feet like unto fine grass. I see mom's feet right there. Right, her feet is the same color. If a little kid drew a picture of her, they're not going to draw brown feet and a white face. Right? Your feet, same complexion, same color as the rest of your body. What color is his feet? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. Right. Some people say gold, but whatever, right? Read. As if they burn in a furnace. What color is burnt brass? Black. Mm. So we got an Afro haired black messiah that's the king of the people that went into slavery and chains on ships. Right, Who are we? We are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. So now, how do we get into this mess? I see Miss Lashonda, she, she kind of tearing off. Oh, I, I'm getting hurt. I got you. Why did we go into slavery in the first place? You remember? No pressure. There's everybody watching, though. You remember? Let's get it, right? This is this is why we go through the Bible. It's important, right? So everybody's following the curses that apply to us, right? Let's find out why these, these curses actually happen to us. Read verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass. It will happen. Go ahead. If thou will not hearken. If you will not listen. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To observe to do all his commandments. All his commandments. And his statutes. Uh -huh. Which I command thee this day. Right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. These curses, these punishments, these judgments is going to come upon you and overtake you. So why did we go into slavery? Because we didn't keep the commandments. So now, what should we be doing now? Since we still oppressed and spoiled evermore. Since we still don't know who we are. Listen to what? And observe and keep these commandments. We hear a lot. There's a lot of people here, and that's why we got the speaker. But are we going to do these things? That's how we're going to free ourselves as a community, because we tried every other way. Well, how long have black people been Christians? Long time. Matter of fact, this is how we became Christians. Right? Now, how long have black people been voting? Not too long. You crazy. We've been voting for 60 years. 60 years. No, no, no. You, that's longer than most people's life in our community. Right? That's a long time. You 60? No. Nah, you 20? Right? Uh, uh, that, means, that means you could be my son. Right? That's a long time. Right? So, how long have we been doing the things to appease white people? Or anybody that rule over us? Long time. And we're still bottom trotting down in the foot. That's why anybody heard of Rasheem Carter? The brother in Mississippi a couple months ago got his head sawed off and his spine removed and thrown in the woods. And they said it was an animal that did it. Like, we stupid? Yeah. Right? Yeah. How long that's going to happen to us? Anybody know the name of uh, Julian Hayward III? He sounds familiar. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? He's a black man that was lynched. Guess where he was lynched? Maui. Maui. Guess when? I didn't hear about that. Guess when? Huh? What? He was lynched in Maui in 2020. While we was coughing over COVID, 
he was getting lynched and he was not getting lynched by white people so all people know who we are and we're subject to the curses at all times if we don't gather ourselves together and if we don't observe god's commandments and keep them that's what we have to understand and all of these things that we read to you nobody in the church is telling us that nope in the church they tell you the commandments is done away with this whole book is about keeping god's commandments this whole book right but when you go to these establishments that we learned here they say how do we keep these negroes in slavery i know let's make them do the opposite of what their god said so these curses can still apply Read 28 verse 1 all the way around so this is why our curses your grandpa was he was dealing with the same oppression that you're dealing with now now just because we're in hawaii and the weather nice don't mean that we're not treated like negroes we're gonna get the negro rate we're gonna get the humbling experience at work we're gonna get the collusion at work we're gonna get we're gonna get uh uh if you need a uh, uh to how many anybody here on a home own a home not here I, I don't own a home here either right so where is the the black community in hawaii let me ask this sister right here come go 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 sis come sis right you live here why are you moving well no why are you moving yeah you don't want nobody in your business how, how long you been here six years so are you in the military okay why are you moving now Huh? Because of the water crisis. Okay. Where's the black community in Hawaii? Mostly on military base. That means they leave in three years. All right. So where where's the established community in Hawaii? Got a question for you. Where's the Filipino community? Huh? Where? Why not? Oh, Chinese community. They got a whole section to say, and it's a specialized zone everywhere right and you know what's crazy about chinatown everywhere is listed as a red light district which means it's full of criminality prostitution drugs illegal immigrants right but it's allowed to thrive everywhere where's the black community in hawaii how long have black people been here 200 plus years same as everybody else we the only people that ain't got no community is it because we're stupid we don't know math why do you think we don't have a community lashonda knows but she might not remember Right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 29 again. I'm going to show you. It's a curse. It's a curse. Now, just because the weather's nice, just because nobody's throwing a, a burning brick through your window, we think that we're free. Read. But Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 29. Uh -huh. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Right. As the blind gropeth in darkness. Right. We're going to not know what to do as a community. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Now, we're going to get homes. We're going to get education centers out here. We're going to get community centers out here. We're going to what? And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Oh, I guess not. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Wait, wait, why don't we have a community after 200 years? There you go. There you go. But we've, we've come to believe that the oppression is supposed to look like the Klansman. It's supposed to look like the Klansman. Anybody heard of benign neglect? Benign neglect? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's put like, you on the spot. It's like when you're getting neglected, but like not in the like positive, sort of strong way, like subtly. Like, absolutely, like, like, absolutely. Economically, like right? in the education system. So, for example, if I'm not killing you, but I'm just not allowing you to get resources, I'm not being mean to you, but you're gonna die. You're oppressed, yeah. right? That's kind of what happens in Hawaii. That's what happens to us here in Hawaii. So this curse still applies. Oh, hold on, hold on. You got a question? No, I, I don't. Right? Watch, 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 watch. Go ahead. Uh huh. America took over. That's not true. That's where a big thing came in. You ever heard of Anthony D. Because Kamehameha had his own advisor who was of African American descent. Right. right. What did the royal family do to Anthony D. Allen? They took his land back. And you know what they did? You know what's there now? Washington Middle School. Right? There's no namesake of his. You've never even heard of him. How you get over here? Going through each um, air, as you would say. This is how you know it's not the same, right? And this is, this is, I, I understand, I understand how TV one. Yeah. Okay, right? So I understand how us coming together might be kind of offensive to you. Maybe, may, may, maybe, you, I got you, I got you. But here's the thing, right? He said, you have, does it have something to do with this being America? We went through every other community that has been established. 
The Filipinos, do they have a community? Chinese people. Uh, Korean people. Korean people. Everybody was here. Puerto Ricans was here on the plantation too. They're up here as well as the 12 tribes. They suffered the same exact stuff that we've done through our history, right? And that's why they have no community here, even though they was here on the plantations as well, right? Matter of fact, get that for me in verse 16. That's a curse as well, because everybody says they was on the plantation. The Chinese man, the Korean man, even the Hawaiian man was on the plantation as well, right? But listen what God is saying about the plantation. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in this city. So in the city you're going to be cursed. Go ahead. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Where? In the field. In the field. So while plantation life was going, you had the Chinese He Fat family forming a rice dynasty. You had a uh, uh, the Al, Al I forgot his name Al Alaquana family fought, forming a rice dynasty. You had Japanese people putting up uh, shrines to their god, right, and forming uh, uh, fishing businesses while they were still on the plantation. While they were still on the plantation. So it's not that the white man was like, we're not letting anybody get a foothold, but we understand that the curses are applied to our people, our people, right? So for example, uh, a lot of times Hawaiians say our language was taken from us, right? Is the Hawaiian language available? now is when was Kamehameha school established 18 something were, were they speaking Hawaiian in that so the, the the language has been around what language do black people speak exactly those are all European languages those are all European languages if you wanted to right now you can go worship your gods that your great 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 grandfather did you can step into those traditions and not guess what you have to do you understand this is the difference between us and the people around us we have no idea we do we guess what we do is we'll go to 23andMe we'll go to Ancestry.com and tell us that we're 5% Asian right huh? Well, that, that's because in your culture, y'all don't write it down, right? You sing it. It's oral history, right? We write stuff down. That's what we do, right? But what happened was all of our stuff was burnt to the ground repeatedly, repeatedly. We, we have history of that, right? Anybody heard of Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yeah. Rosewood, yeah. right? All of Detroit. There's a whole summer dedicated to killing black people. There's a whole summer. And all these type of stuff. Uh, you have the um the the move uh, uh in Philadelphia. That's them, right? You have all these things dedicated to killing black people and removing their history off the face of the earth. That's in God's curses. That's in God's curses, right? Nobody else is affected like that, right? Japanese people got reparations immediately after World War II, right? And they get they get uh prime real estate and contract deals because of that. You understand? So these are the things that we're just discussing, right? Jesus is a black man. We are the Israelites. And we must keep God's commandments. Everywhere else, everybody else is telling us not to do that. They're telling us to assimilate. Give me Psalms 106 and 35. They're telling us to assimilate. Here in, in Hawaii, you have the Aloha spirit. What's the Aloha spirit, sir? Supposedly. You know, but somewhere in that supposedly is you niggas better not move. You better not, you better not lift your head up. You understand? Right? That's why, that's why, uh, anybody know who T uh, Tamara Taylor is? That's a sister that, uh, I forgot, she went to an elementary school out here and her daughter was bullied. Her daughter has, right? And they, they all the kids together drew a picture, they forced her to draw a picture of, of what she would do to her bullies. Let this marinate, what she would do to her bullies. All of them did it. That girl went to, uh, she got arrested and interrogated for 10 hours without her mom even knowing what happened. Nobody else did. Nobody else did. And she say, faced so much oppression and backlash that she had to take her daughter and move back to the mainland because she has no community. No community. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally!